Hi there, this is Dr. Justin Marcajani, and today's talk is going to be on inflammation and allergies. Again, trying to look at the root cause of what these allergies are, where they're coming from, and also inflammation and where that's coming from too. So I always like to have a functional medicine perspective, kind of looking at the root cause of what's driving everything here. So what's inflammation? Well, inflammation is typically a process of the body trying to repair itself. There's various inflammatory compounds such as cytokines, interleukins, TNF-alpha, nuclear factor, kappa-beta. These are all compounds that are there. Trying to, the body's trying to heal itself. Now, chronically when we're inflamed, the body's not used to chronically being inflamed, so chronic inflammation causes all kinds of problems. When we look at chronic inflammation, we tend to see constriction, right? Blood vessels start to narrow, right? With heart disease, what's one of the biggest associations we see? Higher blood pressure, right? Higher blood pressure. So when we see higher blood pressure, we're gonna see constriction over here of the arteries. We're gonna see decreased blood flow, right? The, the arteries are gonna narrow here. Blood pressure goes up. When blood pressure goes up, when the heart pumps, it has to overcome a higher level of resistance. Therefore, your heart has to work a lot harder. So again, chronic inflammation isn't good. When we look at the root causes of inflammation, if you look at previous video, videos, we're always looking at the three categories of stressors, the, the triangle of health, if you will, physical, chemical, and emotional stress. And all of these stressors accumulate. In conventional medicine, this is known as allostatic load. And I love how conventional medicine uses fancy terminology that, you know, it's, it's not too uh, convention, it's not too uh, conventionally used, you know, with the everyday person in uh, in conversation. Allostatic low, but basically, my analogy to my patients is that's your stress bucket. When your stress bucket's overflowing, that's where your allostatic load is very high. And conventional medicine looks at high amounts of allostatic load is a contributing factor to chronic disease. So when we have inflammation chronically, we see this level of constriction because our stress bucket or our allostatic loads overburdened. That's going to cause inflammation. That's going to cause decreased blood flow. It's going to cause the blood vessels, to, the blood cells and the vessels to stick together more. Uh, agglutination, if you will, or um, essentially uh, hypercoagulability. Clotting is forming and the blood vessels are sticking together. We want blood vessels to be nice and loose so they can flow and they aren't sticking and they aren't causing um, decreases in oxygen to the body. Immune system response. So what's happening, especially with allergies, what's happening with our immune system? Well, typically what tends to happen is we have our cells called basophils. These basophils, they're basophils in our bloodstream. In our bloodstream, they're basophils. So think of B for basophil as B for blood. Now, when they leave your bloodstream and they go into your tissues, they become mast cells. So basophils in the blood are basophils. Basophils in the tissues are mast cells. And mast cells produce histamine. And what histamine does, it's the body's trying to, to rush blood in there to help heal whatever's damaged. So mast cells produce histamine. Histamine opens things up. So if you ever had an allerg uh, um, allergic response where you, your face got really swollen, typical response is you want to go reach for Benadryl because Benadryl is an antihistamine. It decreases that response. So a lot of people, they're having this low-grade histamine response because they're being exposed to various pollens. Now, why? Why are they reacting to these pollens? It's because their allostatic load is high. When your allostatic load is high, that is like your stress bucket being over, overburdened, right? So here's your stress bucket right here. And when we put stressors in here, it could be toxicity, right? It could be physical stress. It could be gluten. It could be pesticides. When we, we overburden that, you're gonna see what happens is our stress goes up and our immune system becomes hypersensitive. So our goal is to decrease our allostatic load as much as possible. That's going to decrease this whole domino effect of basophil, the mast cell, the histamine in our body. Now, here's a great question. Have you ever asked yourself why when you first went gluten-free or when you started going really healthy, you're eating a paleo type of approach, and then maybe you went back and ate some gluten later, you were like, Wow, I really reacted to that gluten. What happened? Well, what's happening is your mast cells sit there in your tissues and they're engorged and they get bigger and bigger and bigger and have more and more of a histamine piling up. And what happens over time is you eat some gluten, you get exposed to some kind of toxin that you've been avoiding, a rush of histamine goes into your blood and then everything just starts swelling up and you start reacting. There's actually been research on celiac patients. They're actually producing 80% more histamine. So they're chronically inflamed. 
you see it in people's faces when they're just, their, their faces are more rounded. They have that low level of histamine happening throughout their whole body. And that's why when you come off eating a really good diet and then you start eating some junk food, what's really happening is you're getting this, this over-exaggerated histamine response. And this chronic inflammation over time is going to increase allergies. Why? Because of the allostatic load, because our stress bucket, right? Toxins, pesticides, gluten, physical pain, all those things are adding up. Increase in allergies because that histamine response is there and our immune system is hypersensitive. It's not discerning. You know, a visitor walks through the door, you see it's you know, dander or pollen, you're not willing to call the Navy on the, on the dander or pollen. You see some terrorists come to the door, well then you're willing to call the Navy, right? But it's, you want to have an appropriate immune response, right? A virus, bacteria walk to the door, you're calling the Navy or your immune system self-defenses, right? A little bit of pollen or dander, innocent things, you're going to leave it be because you know it's not a big deal. So we have this hypersensitive immune response with chronic inflammation. So we want to fix that and we fix that by addressing our allostatic load. That's how we fix it. And again, that's why our immune function is decreased. It's hypersensitive. It's not intelligent. We want intelligent immune function. Intelligent. We're, we're discerning. We can see exactly what's coming in invader-wise and we can mount the right response. So now what are my recommendations to address some of this simply? Well, obviously all the diet and lifestyle things, looking at your stress bucket here and figuring out what's in your bucket, what's in your allostatic load. Um, there are some herbs and nutrients you can use. Turmeric's excellent. It'll help reduce inflammation. If you're dealing with allergies, stinging nettle, bromelain, and N N-acetylcysteine. N-acetylcysteine is a great biofilm buster. It knocks down biofilms. Um, bromelain's excellent. It's an anti-inflammatory compound. Uh, stinging nettle's excellent. Quercetin is very good as well. These are all excellent herbs that will help reduce inflammation. Again, you feel free to add them into your diet or add them into your supplement regimen. Get to, to the underlying cause of your allostatic load. I have a couple of products that I use in my practice, um, especially with, with people around the allergy time of year that they add in as a protocol and it really helps reduce allergic response and allergic symptoms. So again, get to the root cause. Hopefully we answered some of the questions of you know, why you have allergies, why when you go off some of these gluten foods and you add them back in, you respond more vigorously or more intently and hopefully you understand why you're having the issues you're having and we can provide some simple solutions as well as add some supplements in there to help get you faster results. Hope everyone enjoyed today's video and um, have a great day.